Hello and welcome to another video and this is my brother, Hello. Ben. <laughs> Wasted energy mate. Wasted That's true. Energy. Shouldn't have done that. Today we are going to be doing the pacer fitness test or the bleep test, the multi-stage fitness test. There are various names for it, but um, one universal description is that it f***ing sucks. Yeah. PACER stands for Progressive Aerobic Cardiovascular Endurance Run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you start slowly, it gets progressively faster, and it's in theory going to find like your kind of end point, the point you can get to in terms of your aerobic capacity before you just collapse and throw up. die. Yeah. And or throw ben, up. Ben, you've thrown up on this track before, haven't you? Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, quite. A, yeah, probably more than anywhere else, actually. <laughs> Back in the glory days, when I used to athletics, Ben used to come and train with me, and like he's just got a weird capacity or a lack of capacity for not throwing up. So the slightest hint yeah. of being tired, yeah. So that bodes pretty well for this, yeah. I think. If you don't like feel throwing up, probably just cut to like right at the end of the video. In addition to the pace test, as if that wasn't bad enough, I'm going to be doing a VO2 max test. I've basically got a kit from a company called Pinot, I'll talk about them a little bit later on, that is going to measure and record my VO2 max, aka how much oxygen my body can use whilst exercising. I think the answer is going to be not very much. I'm no scientist, but I imagine the reading for me is going to be poor, like off the chart in a bad way. What do your subscribers need to do at this point? Oh, great shout. They need to like the video. In fact, I'm going to set a likes target for this video. So this video gets 50,000 likes. Me and Ben are going to do another fitness test. Yep, good. <laughs> um, we will go through the comments. We will choose a popular requested fitness test within reason and we will do that test. So 50,000 likes and that's going to happen. And obviously, it goes without saying, if you've not already, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers. We are getting so close. So go and subscribe right now. Red button, set subscribe on it. Friggin' do it. So in terms of the actual structure of the test itself, it is essentially, like I said, it's a bleep test, right? So I imagine a lot of you guys in the UK would have done it at school. You basically have a 20 meter zone. I can't do my shoelace up. Which runs from this line here down to the cones slash water bottles. Legit AF setup. There is a beep, so you'll see the little speakers on the floor there. Funny story, we have like a good speaker setup. It doesn't work, so we've found the speakers from like the 1970s that are weirdly sticky. Why are they so sticky? Oh anyway, yes, I mean, I'm gonna question how much we're ready to hear those. Hopefully it'll be loud enough, audible enough. We basically run from this line to that line. We run back, we do it again, and we keep going until we absolutely die and we can't physically run anymore. There will be beeps happening the whole time. The beeps get faster, so it goes from level one I think the max is like a level 21. I mean, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna get nowhere near there. Even a 10, I'll be well happy with. So, do you have any context? I have no idea in terms of. No. Uh, all, just... all I do know, we, we, we do know that I think in the UK, it is a requirement for the police force to be above a level five. So, like. That'd I mean, be, if we can't beat a level five, like... Oh, don't put needless pressure on this it. Video like... went, this video, if you watch the video now, we've beaten level five, because otherwise it's oh, not going to see the light of day. But yeah, basically, there are beeps throughout the levels. They get faster and faster, closer and closer. Therefore, you've got to speed up. So as you're getting tired, you're running faster, and you obviously eventually get to a point where you can no longer sustain that, and you collapse, and you give up, and that's your test over. Oh, okay. Ben, thoughts? You excited? Uh, on a scale of one to ten. Ten being ridiculously excited. Where are you sitting right now? I'm genuinely anticipating this being one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> the thing is, like, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that my cardiovascular capacity is absolutely awful. Ben's probably the only person I know that's <laughs> possibly worse than me in that respect, so I've chosen the ideal candidate. So this is obviously a heart rate monitor, which goes alongside the VO2 max testing kit. Ben, like, what are you doing? Twist it that way, yeah. It's really tight. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Looks... You do look quite weird. <laughs> you look weird. <laughs> going like underwater. I don't want to put it on. As soon as I put it on, that means that signifies what you're doing. <laughs> you've done it. Why are we doing this? Uh, Even your moaning sounds better with that one. I'm going scuba diving. <laughs> that makes me feel better, to be fair. Right, guys. Should we get ready to go? This I got prelims on prelims on prelims on prelims on prelims on prelims are sober. My run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm got the clip ready. Are you ready to go? Uh, Come on, Bane. The multi stage fitness test will start in five seconds. Ready. Level three, I'm here and I'm feeling. 
saturated, that's what you start level four. The story's over now, I must conclude. I played it in a sense, a feel of discontent. I'm finally facing it all. Fearless. <laughs> Come on. Man. Oh god. Start level nine one. Level nine two. Level nine five. Come on, Matt. Come on. Level nine six. Get to level ten. Hey, Matt, come on. Level nine. Ten. Go, 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 go. Come on, keep going, come on. Yeah. Level 10, 1. <laughs> Level 10, 2. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think I was level 10. Um, when did you come out, Ben? Uh, somewhere in eight. <sighs> Which, uh, uh, I'm relatively happy that's man. Ben's an absolute melt. He came out at level eight, so then therefore, I was just, yeah, I was, I thought I'd try and get to 10. Halfway through nine, I lost the ability to run properly and just kind of force my legs to function. Level 10, I think that's probably not very good, but in the context, I'll take it. I felt like quite sick towards the end. I was scared of throwing up in the mask as well, so I feel it, Ben. Yeah, really good. <laughs> what did you get to a point where your like my, your legs were my like leg? Yeah, I couldn't like I couldn't like I couldn't run anymore. My calves are absolutely killing me right now. So that's the thing with this as well, because I was doing the VO2 max test. I wanted to get or try and get close to a true VO2 max, and to do that, you've got to exercise to the point where your body is no longer using oxygen. Essentially, like you can't get it quick enough. So to get to that point, you've got to just completely kill yourself, basically. Um, and when you start to get like intense lactic acid, that's when you know you've reached that point. And yeah, I was there for the last couple of sub levels. My legs weren't just weren't functioning basically. That was horrible. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, okay, that was horrendous. I'm unbelievably relieved <laughs> that it's finished. I've been dreading that like for the last 24 hours. Um, so I got level 10, like exactly bang on 10. That's fairly satisfying. What'd you get, man? I like, scraped an 8.1. 8.1. Yeah, 8.1. Something like that. That's better than you, you thought you were going to do. To be yeah, fair. like to be honest. Yeah, at the point I got type five, I was like. Shit. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Like when we learned that the police <laughs> pass was a five, I mean I've seen some pretty overweight policemen. Yeah, ben was worrying that could look bad on his <laughs> reputation. Anyway, I've cleaned up the track from my absolutely decimated. <laughs> I'm now like submitting the results of my VO2 match results to the guys at the lab and they're gonna get back to me with the results. When we get home, I'll run through those and we can see how appallingly bad my VO2 max is. <laughs> back home, I have the results. Um, <laughs> quite surprising like interesting I was thinking back I think when I was at school when I was like maybe 17 in like in good shape like running all the time uh, pre football tour I did like a level 12 maybe so a 10 like it's not that bad right like I literally never run so it could be worse anyway like I said I have the results um the device I was wearing by the way is from a company called Pinoe they're sick because whereas previously if you wanted to get like a VO2 max or a resting metabolic rate for example done you have to go to a lab it's a massive setup it's a ball ache this is obviously as you see the device is portable you can wear it on your back whilst you do stuff pretty friggin exciting that you can do that in this day and age but basically I did the test they've sent me all the results they're literally on my phone in front of me right now so let's run through them. first things first let's cut to the good bit my vo2 max or vo2 peak was 58 which is like it's good 
like on Panoe's like um, like standards, I guess that's like deemed as excellent, which is pretty nuts because I just assumed automatically anything cardiovascular related I'm gonna suck at. In case you're unaware, VO2 max is basically how much oxygen your body can utilize during exercise. Now there are a few disclaimers. Obviously, because I have like a significant amount of muscle mass, that's gonna increase your VO2 max. Obviously, your body has more muscle, therefore it's using more oxygen like all the time. So I guess that's gonna account for some of that. A lot of it is just genetic. So even though I don't train for that, I guess if I was to train, you know, in a more kind of endurance cardiovascular based sense, I could potentially excel at that. But yeah, it was definitely surprising. Like I said, I thought it was gonna suck. So well happy with that. So basically with this device, you can test your resting metabolic rate, which is how many calories you burn doing nothing. Think, right, so if I was to just lie in my bed 24 hours a day, how many calories would I burn? And the answer is 2,357. Okay, now that's interesting because like that number is typically 60% of the number of calories you would burn over the course of a day. Because when you factor in like activity, like training, exercise, the actual like thermogenic effect of eating food, that number's gonna get significantly higher. So that means that my actual metabolic rate, how many calories I am burning on a day to day basis, would be around kind of 4,000, which is where I think it would be. Like it used to be a lot higher back in the powerlifting bulking days, but now I estimated it to be around 4,000 and these numbers basically back that up. So yeah, that's good to know. And obviously like is incredibly insightful. Like if you're trying to establish your like maintenance, like how many calories you need to maintain your weight and therefore lose fat or, or, or gain weight, there are obviously an abundance of online calculators, but they can be very inaccurate because ultimately it's a bit of a stab in the dark, right? Everyone is different there. Everyone has like genetic innate hereditary differences. And so a test like this gives you an actual number. Now on top of that we have like a whole kind of diagram that just demonstrates a few different parameters so the metabolic analysis and the muscle type one I did that after this initial test so that's why they're not on this but you can see stuff like in particular the, the fat burning efficiency was really really uh, interesting and again I guess expected because genetically I've always had a very fast metabolism my, my body's ability to burn fat is like significantly above average which is why I can eat a lot of calories and not carry fat I guess stuff like my respiratory fitness like not low but like it's not great again that makes sense like I expected like I was surprised the VO2 max was so high, but yeah, in a general sense, I know my cardio is weak compared to the average person that goes to the gym. So it's definitely an area I would like to improve, but actually doing it in the real world is like, you know, a different thing. And yeah, this has other cool parameters, like how your breathing affects your cognition, how it affects your mobility. It's just very insightful because lots of stuff, when you're trying to assess like where you are physically, like ultimately a lot of it is guesswork, right? There's no way you can accurately gauge some of those things. So a device like this just gives you the ability to actually accurately mm -hmm. measure those different different areas and then like I said make um, a judgment based on how you should be training and what your diet should look like, you know, off the back of that. And yeah, I guess specifically that assessment of your like heart and lung function is really important. Like it will obviously tell if you have any like underlying limitations or issues with those organs. And particularly now with the whole like COVID thing, I guess it's good to know that, you know, to know kind of how like vulnerable you are or just like I said, in a, in a training, like health fitness sense where you're at like physically, which will then obviously inform the way you train. Like for anyone, but particularly like an endurance based athlete, this stuff would be incredible. Like it will be so insightful. And even for the average person after doing that test, based on the information it has about your heart, your lungs, your metabolism, etc., Pinot will actually build you a training and a diet plan that is structured specifically for your mechanics. So if you're interested in having a go and trying the test for yourself, or you just want to find out more information about the company, I'll put two links in the description. One will be for you as an individual if you would like, because the service Pinot we have is that they will come to your house and run that test for you and give you all the data right there and then. Or if you are like a business, like for example, a gym owner, you can buy a device yourself, have it in your gym, and then obviously test your members and again, give them that data. So yeah, two links in the description if you're interested, go and get involved. That is the video done, my friends. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Like I said, 50,000 likes and we do another test and obviously comment what test you wanna see us do below and I will pick the most popular within reason one um, and we'll do that. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh.